Hey guys, it's your fit dog, aka Kristen Snow, and I'm back with your weekly dose of medicine. Today, we're going to get right into it and talk about specifically the farm ticks and talk about um, just the route that you need to take if you're trying to get into medical school based off of my experience. So, if you would, stay tuned. <music> I am speaking directly to pharmacy technicians right now, not saying that if you're not a pharmacy technician you won't gain anything from this video because I'm sure there are other experiences that may be similar as being a pharmacy technician as far as applying to medical school anyway. But I just wanted to come and lay my thoughts out to you all to just tell you about my experience being a pharmacy technician and the pros and the cons from how I guess that affected my application as a medical school applicant. So. I first worked in retail after I graduated from college in 2019. I worked there for a couple of months at Walgreens specifically and they were cutting hours and so of course I got cut first because I was part time. I ended up working at an assistant living facility for a little bit and that was different because it was more so like mail order so we kind of like you know shipped out medications to 40 different facilities and then I eventually got into the hospital and the hospital I think is what really impacted my application the most because I'm in the hospital I mean that's just different than working in Walgreens and you know at, pe at places that don't really have physicians I guess in the building if you will um, but not only was I working at the hospital I was working in an ID room so that was even more specialized so that kind of created more of a conversation for me as far as like what I did what did that mean because I honestly didn't even know that there were pharmacy technicians that could work in the ID room so I made epidurals I made um, intravenous antibiotics antifungals um, antivirals we created um, or we concocted, reconstituted remdesivir, which was an antiviral that was used as an investigational drug during the highs of COVID. So things like that are things that I spoke on in my interviews and in my secondary applications, specifically on being a hospital pharmacy technician. So I would suggest that if you're trying to get into medical school and you don't have any clinical experience, but you really do have interest in pharmacy, but you don't want to be a pharmacist, <laughs> Being a hospital pharmacy technician will give you a lot of experiences to speak on and it's just a little bit more acceptable, I guess, um, if you're trying to apply to medical school because you will have been familiar with the way that the hospital works. You will understand the different moving parts when it comes to a pharmacy tech, a pharmacist and how they communicate with the nurse and you know how the nurse um, collaborates with the CNA and then you know they all get their orders from the doctor so it's really good to just have like that different perspective as a pharmacy technician because you're not necessarily like with the doctor all the time but or really any other time but you're able to still speak on like other things that help the patient that benefit the patient because you still are um, you know doing patient centered work you're literally making medications for patients and nurses need those medications stats sometimes so they're waiting outside of the pharmacy waiting on you to mix it waiting on the pharmacist to check it and so you are contributing to that patient's care it doesn't matter how small or little you think your job is I'm going to interrupt myself real quick and say to like comment and subscribe if you feel like so far I'm helping you out throughout this video if I'm giving you something um, to think about if I'm giving you a different perspective please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and click that notification bell that way you're notified every time that I post a video it means nothing for you but it does wonders for me so I really appreciate it it is free so thanks stay tuned so I was able to speak on that as a pharmacy technician and I will say as a hospital pharmacy technician that did give me a different perspective when I was applying to medical school but honestly I really do think that if you're looking to be a pharmacy technician and you're looking to apply to medical school I would suggest that you look into other clinical experiences as well. As a tech, you're not really with a doctor. You're not able to see what they do day in and day out. And I think that's just important, not only for your application, but it's important to see if you actually want to do this. So again, if you're looking to be a tech, spend some time being a tech, enjoy it, have that different perspective, have that different experience, grow. Um, but then I would look into another type of experience, such as medical scribing, being a medical assistant, I think being a medical assistant, you have to get certified or it may take some training like up to six months. So that should just you know be aware of that if you're thinking about timing and applying to medical school and things like that. Um, being a CNA, I think CNA, you also have to get your certification. I don't know how long that takes. You can drop in the comments below. <coughs> <coughs> Not COVID. I stopped being a um, pharmacy technician for a while to be a medical scribe and I was able to speak so much more on my experiences and I learned so much more being a medical scribe 
and it was so much more fulfilling. And I think that is what made me different. My story, when it came to speaking about like what I learned as a medical scribe, the day in and day out activities, like things like that, I think that is what made a difference in my application compared to last year or yeah last year so i would encourage you all to do that um as a pharmacy technician you're not getting that one-on-one -on -one experience and that is really what schools want to see and they want to see that because they want to know that you put the time in to be around a doctor or to be you know really helping patients um in a specific setting like it's it's just different and also if you're able to speak on those experiences when you're day to day with a doctor it just creates more conversation and it kind of gives admissions committee an idea of okay like is she going to succeed in this profession what has she learned while being you know with a doctor what has she learned what were her experiences like what impacted her and how can she relate that to us in an interview so that is what i would say as a pharmacy technician if you're looking at this video and you're like i think i want to go to medical school some people think you know whenever i used to work as a tech in the hospital they'd be like oh so why don't you just become a pharmacist i think someone even asked me that on my interview and it's like because i want to be a doctor because i want to be a physician because technically they're both doctors it's still possible for you to become you know a doctor after just being a tech but i think that you'll get into more schools, you'll have a broader perspective, and you will learn a lot. And it'll kind of put you in those situations. Like as a medical scribe, you will actually be put in those situations. Like this is what the doctor does every day. She comes in at this time. This is how much time she takes in between each patient. This is how she, you know, wants her notes done. Like you will literally learn so much, and I think it'll benefit you way more than being a technician. So that's really it for this video, you all. It's short and sweet. I just wanted to come on here and give my little two cents about my experience. And obviously it helped because I got into UNC Chapel Hill School of Medicine. I am extremely grateful, extremely blessed, extremely excited to start this journey. And I can't wait to share it all with you. And um, that's pretty much it, y'all. That wraps it up. So, again, if you have not liked, comment or subs commented, or subscribed yet, what are you doing? I have plenty of content coming for you all. And I'm just so happy about this experience. And I just want to share it. You know, I just I love to motivate and inspire others. And the fact that I really reached my goal and really exceeded my goal, um, to be honest, is just, it's just so much more inspiring. So, again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, and what am I going to say? And until next time, peace.